people and we've got some great guests in the studio tonight mm -hmm. the lovely Liz McLaren and Anne Ridian Roberts will be here they're both about to go on tour to start in a massive musical extravaganza find out more later on we showed you these look so cute. cute. But first, let's meet two great guests. One of them we know as an atomic kitten, the other from X Factor. They've teamed up for an amazing new musical extravaganza and tonight they're going to tell us all about it. Welcome to Live from Studio 5, it's Liz McClarnon and Rydia Roberts! Woo! It's lovely to have you here. Thank now, you. tell us all about, it's Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds, yes, isn't it? Yes, Jeff Wayne's The War of the Worlds and it's about um, a Martian invasion in 18th century um, England oh. and um, we've got all our gear on and we're getting attacked by Martians and basically it's like nothing you've ever seen on stage it's in arenas all across Europe people get set on fire do you get I, set on fire you'd love that wouldn't you <laughs> no, I, I really would that would be awful no I mean I have to levitate 30 foot in the air I mean, while singing with and you're man and wife in it as well we are yeah. you look quite priest and wife together. almost we are we're oh. method actors yeah. oh. tell us about your character Iridium, because we've got a picture here of your character and you look so different I mean, look at the hair i know <laughs> tell I'm us about him going for the wagner look i think <laughs> <laughs> i uh, i'm playing a parson nathaniel uh, and basically i married i married to liz who's playing um, beth. The, the beth who's my wife and uh, as a result of the invasion from the Martians, and they come in the form of huge fighting ma machines. Oh. And um, we have this on stage, like 30 foot, six ton, I think it is, however yeah. many ton, 11 ton is, it's huge. It's massive. Yeah. That walk on the stage. Mm. And uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty hectic, and I, I think this is a result of a human sin This has happened. So I lose my faith. Oh, and really? And I freak out. And his mind completely. So yeah, I become quite satanic. Uh, and Beth's trying to calm me down, but we have this epic song. Um, it's it's quite a quite a. It's a bit um, emotional, isn't it? It is, but it's huge. It's it's yeah. it's, a, it's a it's a rock musical. It's, it suits me down the ground. It's yeah. what I've always if, wanted to do. Have you been involved in any shows like this before? Are you feeling quite nervous about it? I, you know, what? I'm really not nervous about it because I've I've now I've worked a lot with Rinian and Jason. Aren't you know like waking up to it? Mm. But um, I've been offered a lot of West End stuff, but I wanted to hold out for something really, really special. And to me, this was it because mm -hmm. you know a, a musical in arenas is massive. Mm. 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 It is, and you mentioned the special effects. I understand there's even like a giant hologram of Richard Burton at some point mm -hmm. during yeah. the performance. And it's really weird, you have to like interact with them as well, don't we? Well, Do you? That, yeah, it's that, really scary. It's really scary. Yeah, yeah. this 11 foot hologram that floats of Richard Burton, for me being a Welshman, to interact <laughs> with him <laughs> That's is all he's quite doing it for. special. That's all he's doing. And there's one stage that he clobbers me, he actually punches me, which I'm sure Liz will be so you, happy about. you have to pretend to be punched by a hologram? Yeah, so it, it kind of, it's, and that's on track so to act it you've got to get your timing just right yeah. because that's on track if I'm too late or too early you're gonna look a bit daft, look a bit daft <laughs> so. but it, it's, no a, pressure. it's a it's a highly technical show and um, it, the, the, the fighting machine can fire heat rays at the audience Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, tell, tell them about the, the. It sounds like Wizard of Oz when you've got the when you've got the sort of like man in a hologram form, and then you have to talk oh, to the yeah, wizard. Oh, like, yeah, like the wizard. Uh, yeah. it's it's nice. Kind of, I would say it's nothing like Wizard of Oz, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also not. You're sure like Wizard like of Oz, and... sort of like the opposite, but <laughs> in the character. Now, Iridian, you are somebody who's used to doing big performances, and uh, I want to. You did a lot on the X Factor. Have you been watching this year's X Factor and what do you make oh, of it? Oh, yes. What do you think? Well, I've seen <laughs> snippets. I've been, I've been busy most weekends, but I've seen clips. And I, what I, the, the most striking thing about this year is they've got acts that are completely different. So you've mm. got different for the X Factor format, if you like. Simon would never usually put something like Cher through with the, yes. the whole rapping and stuff like that, but he has, which is it's really refreshing to see new acts. And I saw Faragna earlier. He looks like what? that actor Ron Jeremy a bit, what doesn't he? Do you, yeah, he does a bit. <laughs> what do you think of the whole Wagner thing and people keeping um, voting to keep him in and having big campaigns on the internet? Do you think it ruins the show? Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit. Uh, what kind of show is it? Is it a singing show anymore? Perhaps not. Perhaps it's entertainment. Mm. People can do what they want, and um, if he's having fun, fair play. And Simon won't mind about that so much because he's getting more publicity. Right? Mm. Yeah. Just, yeah. And not only that, he gets the profits from the phone calls. Of course yeah. he does. He's a winner. Yeah. yeah. Well, Liz, I've got to ask you about X Factor as well. Yes. Have you been watching it? Have you got any I, particular you know favourites? What? Yeah, this year I'm absolutely loving it. I, mm. I have to say Rebecca because she's, she's amazing. Yeah. Oh, of course. And she's amazing. Yeah, that she's voice, good. that tone is just like out of this world. Um, and uh, Rebecca, yeah, pretty much it. Oh, and those cute little boys. 
oh, one, yeah, one direction. direction. Yeah. They're sweet. I think just they're in with a good chance. It, yeah, really, really cute. Yeah. But Regine, you were of course on the X Factor back in the days when Sharon Osbourne was a judge, mm. and at the time when the rift was going on between Danny and Sharon, yeah. did you sense any of that happening at the time as a contestant? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Mm. Um, yeah, a little bit. But I in what kind of way? <laughs> just frostiness. Uh, did you Come see on, you fight? can talk to us, would you? The war of the worlds .com, I think. <laughs> 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 so kinds of like the battle between the Martians I, and the humans. I, I, I will, on a I will scale. always. Um, Danny was amazing with me, and so I, I know what kind of person she is. And she's, she's lovely. She's I'm absolutely really adorable. Really nice. I think there was a bit of tension, mm. but uh, you know, I think probably the press have uh, built it up to be something huge. So mm. they, don't, they don't get on, but they, they, they're not. They're not making a secret of that. What did you think of Sharon as a contestant? Uh, as a contestant. Oh, George, sorry. She's brilliant. As, uh, <laughs> no, I. I actually liked her. Mm. I got on well with her. I thought she added um, theatre and drama to the whole thing. She's, she's not worried about what she's going to say. No, she she's really? not. And she comes from a, like a hugely famous family as well. And Ozzy's great. And mm. you, you met Kelly and Ozzy backstage. It was fantastic. Because I mm. thought, yeah. but, but I think the new, the newer judges are. Uh, even better to a degree. Yeah, hotter. they're working well. Yeah. Hotter, definitely oh. hotter. Hotter. Mm. Now, Liz, we have got something in common. I know! We're fourth Master Chef Charlie Hello! Yeah. Hello! Hi, Hello. Hi, and he only just realised I know. You're so rubbish. And I'm a massive fan of Master Chef. And you and, and, yeah. But now I know you're going to do all the cooking on tour. I'm there you are, Liz. Oh, that was your two finalists. I Andy Pete has gutted when you beat him. Yeah. He was absolutely <laughs> tired <laughs> because of that. Um, that dessert he'd done, the chocolate oh, one. No. But I think he'd rather lose to me than Mark, actually. Yeah. <laughs> do you still get to cook? I do. God, I do, I do loads. Actually, I've just um, got this big thing on my website um, where we do lots of recipes for all different, you know, for Christmas. And we do, we've got Halloween ones on at the minute, so Lovely. all really good. Got a cooking show coming up next year, it looks like, and a kitchenware range and a cookbook so you've got all this to come oh that'll be lovely well I look forward to it it's lovely to see you again you and now, Ridian, tell us about um how to get well, tickets for the webs yeah, the yeah, War the, i mean it's a huge it's a family show first and foremost to so bring the whole family you can get tickets on the website which is the war of the com or at ticketmaster um so playing all the big arenas around the uk and and in well first of all holland and then belgium but oh. the uk look on the website it's going to be a magnificent show yeah. and you'll see me as you've never seen me before. I know, we look forward to that. We saw the pictures. Well, thank you both very much for coming thank in. Good luck with the two of Thanks, thank guys. You. Liz and Ridian! Now, right, we showed you a picture.